There are two worlds, our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams.
They say that every story has a beginning and an end. But that isn't always the case. Some stories simply... stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story. So that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams. To dream time. It's just... entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for, and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end. Including mine. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day, keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down.
I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. She's all alone. I know that feeling. Why won't you help me? You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Please. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Why won't you help me? Oh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... It's a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go... away! Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. It is dangerous and it will hurt you, unless we destroy it. I want to go home. And you will. But the way back is through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you, like, a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Nope. If the wardrobe door opens and Kraken crawls out, dream or no dream, I'm not sticking around for that. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It... rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Too dark. Can't see anything under there. Oh. 
Bingo. Bringer of light, emissary of electricity, the mighty torch. Torch, flashlight, beacon. I'm quickly running out of ideas. It's a torch. It projects a light beam. It's used to penetrate darkness, like a broadsword of light. Fighting. Darkness dragons. Oh, I give up. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, and never again. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Right. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Whoever wired her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Without me, she'll be trapped here. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Too quick. It hides before I can destroy it.
Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as pain, anger, sadness. No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by IKEA. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. Not peeking inside that thing's head. 
Light could work, but it's too quick. I hide before I can't believe a mother would do. Can't believe a mother would do this to her child. People are horrible. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by I can't believe a mother would It's too quick. I hide before I can destroy it. It's too quick. I hide before I can destroy it. No, don't get too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe, waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Stop. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. 
The person I used to be is, is gone forever. There's no home to go back to. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I have nothing out there, and I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. There are no... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome, and my actions have no real consequences, so... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. This... what difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven. But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And, even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember, and then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end, but it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key, unlock the door, remember everything, save the world, write my story, return for epilogue. Bury Hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm, happy thoughts.
I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. I don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. No light source there. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up, possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, okay, the cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now, oh, it's too fast, too jarring, like, like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not letting her stand in my way. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. Is that who I... She's right. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. Maybe she's right. It's not all gone, so it's not perfect. I'm not asking for a perfect home. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And... and who is that? I'm ready for a change. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo. And I'm alive.
Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to stand... And I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner and... How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. Barbarians. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part, for we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were, uh, <clears throat> sausages. Why would the warden come to... He wants me to plead. I shall not. Hmm. Quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. A rational pragmatist to the end. I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to <clears throat> admit that I'm... I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. Quite. Then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up, to, um, to stop fighting. I have nothing more to say. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces, 
To be asked to continue a war that I have nothing more to say. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. We still don't have a key, boy. Not everyone in here is a wrongly convicted rebel. Some are violent murderers. I won't risk it. Locked. The riot hasn't reached this floor yet. Goddess willing, this is the last I'll ever see of this cell. Whatever happens next, I won't be back. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. The Azadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Sire and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. You need to find a key. We will need a key to open this gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Hey! Hey! Help me! He's still breathing. Hey, I've seen you. him around the prison. Over. I don't think he's been here that long. <laughs> Over here. I don't think he's long for this world. Help! Help me! It's a makeshift blade. I've seen how they make them by sharpening stolen spoons against stone. A deadly wet a shiv. It did its job on that guard. He looks badly hurt. I don't think he might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but... Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He... <coughs> he... He has a key. In his pocket. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. Is there anything I can do for you? 
anything at all. My... <coughs> my family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> my children. Tell them they make me proud. I, I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Please. <coughs> it appears to be a gate. Finish me before the cards it's probably me. unlocks this first gate. They won't be kind. They will make. <coughs> will make we just me leave him like that? I can't murder an innocent man. I won't force you to, Gian. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Use the key we to will need a key to open this gate. You do know how to use a key, don't you? We will need a key to open this gate. We will need a key to open this gate. We will need a key to open this gate. The we will need a key to open this gate. Lock. You turn it, and then, like magic, we have different keys for every floor. So you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards. Ever upwards. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing. Moving closer. We need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Goddess lead his soul to the first mountain. barrels. Do they never clean up after themselves? What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about 
something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. He must have a plan for what comes next. He wouldn't have brought us here otherwise. Unless you're picking a giant lock, a broom makes a poor pick. Time to spare, and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. The slop we eat so many barrels. The slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels. <laughs> 